Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to the history of the world according to cats. Ava Maria? Um, Giggle? <laughs> yeah, what he said. Uh, by the channel Ted Ed. The link is down below in the description. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you go and subscribe. It is very important to support the channels that you love. You're damn right it is. You guys can also help support our channel if you want to. If you click on that link down below in the description and throw it on through Streamlabs, you can let you pick what the next videos we react to. Just keep it under 10. Include the videos, link title, your email. Follow all my social medias up above and let's get straight to this video. Let's do it. As you guys know, we are cat people. We got cats in the room with us. Right There's a kitty cat about to jump on our lap and there he is. Speak I told you guys in the last video, what was the last video? What was it called? That was um, the Gumballs in the Park, right? Gumballs in the Park. At the end of the video, he, I gave him, this is Boo. I gave him Boo. I gave John Boo. And then Boo jumped down and he was about to come to me. And I'm like, watch, in the next video, he'll be on my lap. Look how quick. Look how quick. I mean, we literally stopped videos for about 30 seconds in between. Right. And he's on my lap again. <laughs> Let's get to it, guys. Oh, they still are worshipped as On gods. May 27th, 1941, <laughs> right, the German battleship Bismarck sank in a fierce firefight, leaving only 118 of her 2,200 crew members alive. But when a British destroyer came to collect the prisoners, they found an unexpected survivor. A black and white cat clinging to a floating plank. For the next Aww. several months, this cat hunted rats and raised British morale until a sudden torpedo strike shattered the hull and sank the ship. But miraculously, not the cat. Nicknamed crazy. Unsinkable Sam, he rode to Gibraltar with the rescued crew and served as a ship cat on three more vessels, one of which also sank before retiring to the Belfast home for sailors. Many may not think of cats as serviceable sailors, all cooperative companions of any kind. But cats have been working alongside humans for thousands of years, helping us just as often as we help them. So how did these solitary creatures go from wild predator to naval officer to sofa Let's sidekick? The domestication of the modern house cat can be traced back to more than 10,000 years ago in the mm -hmm. Fertile Crescent at the start of the Neolithic era. People were learning to bend nature to their will, producing much more food than farmers could eat at one time. These Neolithic farmers stored their excess grain in large pits and short clay silos. But these stores of food attracted hordes of rodents, as well as their predator, Felis sylvestris libica, the wildcat found across North Africa and Southwest Asia. These wildcats were fast, fierce, carnivorous hunters, and they were remarkably similar in size and appearance to today's domestic cats. The main differences being that ancient wildcats were more muscular, had striped coats, and were less social towards other cats and humans. Makes sense. Right. The abundance of prey in rodent-infested greeneries drew in these typically solitary animals. And as the wildcats learned to tolerate the presence of humans and other cats during mealtime, we think that farmers likewise tolerated the cats in exchange for free pest control. Right. Oh, yes. It's still a thing to this day. It is. Literally, I've... <laughs> Don't judge me. We have four cats. I can literally, like, this is how I test my, my cat's love towards me. I have taken, like, a bowl of food. I will give them their food, and I'll stick my face in it, and I'll be, like, trying to eat, pretending to eat their food. They let me. Mm -hmm. They don't get mad at me. They actually move over, and they let me in space, and it's so cute. And they it's treat like, you like one of their own. They do. Matter of fact, like, I would say our cats, out of most cats, are the friendliest. Besides Chloe. She, she's the friendliest, but she's just more standoffish. And, like, same with Ozzy. Right. They're both the most loving. They're very loving animals, but they're more like, hey, I'll come to you when I want you. Yeah, they're a little bit more reserved to themselves, like, in that manner. Whereas, like, Boo and Theo, they greet you at the door. They're waiting there every time. They rub your back when you come in. They want to be around you. 24-7. They all kiss us, like, you know, and cats rub their noses on us, you know, and walk up, rub their bodies on us. They all do it. The only one that doesn't is um, Ozzy, and he does it to, like, our head. He'll do it, like, here. He's like, starting to come around. He's coming around more because I've been working with him a lot, mm -hmm. and I've been kissing him. Like, I'll grab his face, and I'll, like, literally, like, I'll grab his face, and I'll hold it like this, and I'm like... And I'll, like, force him to take my kisses, and, like, he's getting more, like, adapted to it. 
Um, but usually he like, he tries to get away. Like he just, but yet he'll sit there and he'll purr and he'll be like this still to you, like moving his head back and forth, trying to kiss. But he just doesn't like the face contact yeah. on his face. He just doesn't like it. He does not. And that's just little Osman. The thought of you having to hold something down to kiss it, that was crazy, right? Who could deny right. that? Well, I, <laughs> shut up. I've literally like, <laughs> what? I don't know if I should share this. I've like, you licked a cat's butthole once. Shut up. That's so <laughs> gross. I would never do that. Um, no, like sometimes I like to test to see how much my cats trust me and love me. And I'm not afraid of them because first of all, if it's someone else, someone else's cat, I'm not going to do it. Cause I don't know where their mouths have been. I don't know. And I know my cats lick their buttholes. I get that. But That's what cats do. Whatever. So, they're my cats. I've literally held food outside of my mouth. Like, I don't remember what. And they'll come up and they'll be, like, very gentle. And they'll come and they'll just slowly just grab it from my mouth. They won't touch their... their they won't get spit or anything. They'll just slowly, very gently just grab it out of my mouth. And it's so cute. It's like... You literally treat me like... They know that they're... they're they, their claws hurt. They know that their teeth hurt. They understand it. Okay. And it's just cool that they are that intelligent. They are. They're at the top of their food chain in their own respects. And honestly, I think that they're probably the best pet pound for pound. They take the least effort to initiate <laughs> into the living with the human process. Lily, you show them their litter box once. Out of our four cats, I think one of them had Chloe, issues. Chloe slightly. was our first cat, the Calico. And she, if you've been with us forever, you, you've seen it on our uh, Ashton and John channel. Yes. It's without the 2.0. I think and she had one accident while she getting potty pooped, trained. She pooped and peed on our bed. And yeah. that was like right the very night we brought her home. Wasn't mad at her. Dude, totally understand it. Just threw her shit in the washer. Never again. Never yep. again. She knew instantly. All of them. Um... Theo just set him in the litter box one time and that was it. Never had an accident, nothing. It was just that easy. Here's your here's your bathroom. He fucking got it, dude. Mm -hmm. He's like, I get this, I can do this. Mm -hmm. Boo and Ozzy, very easy stories too, but honestly, cats just get along so well with everything. They give you a lot of love as well. So do dogs, but the love is different. Cats give you, I feel like cats give better love. Um, But Theo, like in the middle of the night, he literally sleeps. He sleeps um like either like right here next to me here or he'll sleep in my arm he'll find a spot here or he'll lay right here otherwise he'll lay over my head yeah the hat do you have the picture from today i do or on my phone or is that whenever. your phone i think it was yours let me check um i don't even know if you'll be able to show it because of the reflection but you can try okay let's see it um this was from i think yesterday actually all right photos but um He'll sleep there and he'll like grab my face in the middle of the night and he'll he'll go like this to my face and he'll just rest his arm his his uh, leg on me. We'll see if you guys can see. You gotta zoom zoom in a little Is and it angle not focusing? it angle it so it's not shining. Okay, let me dull it a little bit. Maybe it's just too bright. Babe. Oh, yeah, babe. John. You got this. I yeah, don't know that's if it's gonna to work. Oh, they can kind of see it. Yeah, that's 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 her right there, and then there's Theo right above her head sleeping. Yeah, you that's can, every morning of her life. Every single morning, but he'll put his paw on my face and he'll sleep there with his paw, and sometimes I'll feel his little claws, and they're just so gentle. Like he knows not to. He'll keep going like that, but he and same with Chloe. They will. They'll need, but they won't. Ex they won't retract their. Or, uh, they won't. What do you call it? Grab. Is that, like, the right way of putting it? Yeah, like, their claw their you. claws come out, and they, like, you know, hit your face, and he doesn't go like that, like, normal. It's very gentle, He's yeah. so, they're both so gentle. It's like they're touching a baby or something. They yes, yes. All right, ready? Yeah. The relationship was so beneficial that the cats migrated with Neolithic farmers from Anatolia into Europe and the Mediterranean. Vermin were a major scourge of the Seven Seas, they ate provisions and gnawed at lines of rope, so cats had long since become essential sailing companions. Around the same time these Anatolian globetrotting cats set sail, the Egyptians domesticated their own local cats. Revered for their ability to dispatch venomous snakes, catch birds and kill rats, domestic cats became important to Egyptian religious culture. 
They gained immortality in frescoes, hieroglyphs, statues, and even tombs mummified alongside their owners. Yeah. Egyptian ship cats cruise the Nile, holding poisonous river snakes at bay. And after graduating to larger vessels, they too began to migrate from port to port. During the time of the Roman Empire, ships traveling between India and Egypt carried the lineage of the Central Asian wildcat, F.S. ornata. Centuries later, in the Middle Ages, Egyptian cats voyaged up to the Baltic Sea on the ships of Viking seafarers, and both the Near Eastern and North African wildcats, probably tamed at this point, continued to travel across Europe, eventually setting sail for Australia and the Americas. Today, most house cats have descended from either the Near Eastern or the Egyptian lineage of F.S. Libica. But close analysis of the genomes and coat patterns of modern cats tells us that unlike dogs, which have undergone centuries of selective breeding, modern cats are genetically very similar to ancient cats. And apart from making them more social and docile, we've done little to alter their natural behaviors. In other words, cats today are more or less as they've always been. Wild mm -hmm. animals, fierce hunters, creatures that don't <laughs> see us as their keepers. And given our long history together, they might not be wrong. If you love cats as much as we do, check out these lessons for more fun facts on our feline friends. I love that. That was a good video, yeah. Okay, boo-boos, can you wake up? Come here. She's always showing off that boo. This is the boo-boos, the wild boo-boos. The wild leopard cat. Look at that ferocious wild so animal. So mean and vicious, aren't Jesus. you? Jesus. He's so sweet. What are you doing? Why are you laying like that? He's comfy. He trusts you. I want to show them Ozzy. Should I go get him? Go get Ozzy. Yeah, for this video, you should. Here, I'll hold the boo. Okay, go to daddy. Come here, boo. Come here. Watch how smart he is, too. Come on, nah, boo. Nah, he might be stupid. He wants you. He ain't gonna come <laughs> he to daddy. Won't. Go to daddy. Come on, boo. Go to daddy, boo boo. He listens a lot. Like, um, our cats listen very well. Like, um,. I'll tell them something, and they'll literally be like, a little hesitant at first. Okay, I understand you do want me, and you can have me right back, but go to daddy for a minute. He does not love me. He loves you. He's going to be... Watch. He's going to look this. over there. He's going to go to her. He, he will. He's... It's just a matter of time, and he'll be over here. What is your favorite... What are... What are your... We're trying to buy time. What are your favorite... Um, your favorite things about having these guys. I'm going to go find... He's, he wants me. Yep, he's like, she's moving. Oh, God. I'm going to go with her. I bet she follows you out. Watch. Um, probably, uh, they are really good animals. And they can sense when you're sad or anything. And they come up and give you, like, like pretty much the right love at the right time. This is this cute guy. We're oh, he's with so we four cute. Of them. He was just cleaning himself. So I feel bad. He's probably mad at me because I just ruined it. Are you telling me he's trying to show off for the camera? Mm -hmm. See, you'll have some respect for yourself. Jesus. Bobby. Bobby. Now, if you look, Boo is completely wondering where she's going. He's trying to sense it. Boo. Are you going to go see her? Come on. Go do it. I don't want to, like, actually, like, push him or imply it anyway. There it is. They're all mommies, boys. Like, honestly, these cats love her way more than me. And Ozzy is the most cute cat. He's literally got the face of a baby cat, like a kitten. Ozzie. But the body of a full-grown cat. It's like it never grew. I want to give him the opportunity to come on his own. Like, that way I don't have to... Come on, baby. Hun, he's the stubborn one, though. He takes a little bit longer to do everything. I think he's a, we think he's a little slow sometimes. I think he has something wrong with him. Okay, I do, but, too. But honestly, like... If I'm being like a hundred percent, I really don't. I just think he's got like the like wild animals. I feel like are kind of more ditzy. Like they're not more ditzy. I don't know how to explain it's it. It's like they're not ditzy in other ways when it comes to like interacting. Like if they got into a them. fight, he would f something up. Like a wild animal's gonna you know, f something up. But they're also retarded in a lot of ways because they don't they don't have the proper instinct in other areas. And with him. He's just weird. Like, he's actually weird. He is. Grab grab him, hon. We gotta show them now. Oh, you're gonna be stubborn, huh? He's always stubborn. He is the one that will let you know when he's mad at it. Like, when he's mad at you, though. 
do something to your shoes, find something in the corner of the room, and he will let you know, like, hey, the other day when you yelled at me, ain't flying. Ain't flying. All right, Ozzy. Here we go. <laughs> I love Ozzie. this guy. He's just... Yeah, you're going to claw me, aren't you? So you put him on me. Now he's, now he's going to kick my butt. Now he's going to kick my ass. Ozzy, look at them. Come on. Show him the belly. Show him the look belly. Look at that belly, guys. Why don't you put that hand down and hold him properly? Okay, because he can't hold Ozzy properly. Yes, he's you can. Man. He's a wild man. Okay, yeah. I love you. He's so cute, though. God. You can't reject those kisses because I'm holding you like that. Mm. You can't get away. Like, Let uh, me go. Should I get Chloe quick? I feel like if I don't, I'm leaving her right Okay, guys, this is this is your trial of all the cats. So you've seen two, three of them so far. Now we got Chloe. She's the sassiest one. She clawed Ashton's dad in the nose once. She's like, oh, hey, can you, how you doing? Right across the face. This is how she was laying, and I just grabbed her, and I picked her up, and she's still laying like that. And this is Chloe, guys. She was sleeping like that. Well, she was Chloe? just laying there, but... She was our first cat, and she's a sweetheart. But she is a calico, and she's more um, timid. So she's more like, I love you. Hey. Can have a kiss? Chloe. She's like, I just woke up. I'm being a bitch right now. That is that is her, like, MO, too. Okay. There it is, guys. As you can tell, we're cat people. Go check out the channel. It is Ted Ed. The link is down below. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye. <laughs>